It's good to know that Resident Evil 3 Remake is officially going to be released. Can't argue about that since the RE2 Remake was a fantastic experience. However, there is one thing that needs to be said since a lot of you are overly hyped after seeing these two leaked images of the game. I don't know why it says Z version, by the way, as a subtitle. What do they mean by that? It couldn't possibly just stand for zombie, right? But anyways, let's dissect these images and discuss what works and what doesn't. Starting with Carlos Oliveira. Carlos no longer looks like his original design, but even though I like his original design, I like that they changed it up so he does not resemble Leon S. Kennedy since their original designs featured a similar haircut and facial features. His ethnicity wasn't mentioned, only that he's from South America, and he has a Latin accent. Not to mention his name is Carlos. He could be Mexican. So if you look at his new design here, I think it works well for Carlos. I hope he still has that same attitude from the game, because he helped lighten the mood when you're scared shitless in a certain scenario. He's not the comedic relief, his personality just really helped keep me calm when he's doing things like flirting with Jill. <laughs> Back when I first played the game, it was a scary experience, so his appearance kept me calm, basically. He wasn't annoying at all like with Steve Burnside. He was serious when he had to be. He's a hell of a soldier with an unstoppable fighting spirit. Just watch his performance in the RE3 manhua to see what I mean. So let's hope they don't change his personality too much with the remake. So this is what Jill's new realistic design looks like. It's pretty good. They didn't completely change her looks like they did with Carlos. She's very recognizable. Her outfit is similar to her outfit in the original, but I noticed that this time she's not wearing that top. I don't know what it's called, but now she's wearing like a button-up sleeveless shirt with a tank top, I think? It's not a bad change. If anything, it makes more sense for her to wear this over her original outfit. But hopefully they'll include a remastered version of it like they did with Leon and Claire's original outfits for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Nemesis has quite the differences to his original design, but I'm curious as to what they're going with here. It's not bad, but if you look closely, you can see that even though it looks like his original design remastered, everything about him has been altered. His skin now appears to be burnt flesh. He has a nose, but it's bent in a way that blends in with his stretched and cut up skin. Also, there are barely any stitches on his right eye. They're mostly visible in his forehead, but since his skin looks like burnt flesh, it doesn't mix well. In the other image, Nemesis does not look like Nemesis at all. The only thing that could give it away if the title of the game wasn't on this image, or the previous one, is his mouth since he's the only tyrant to have that particular overstretched feature. But again, the rest of his face appears to be burnt, making him look more like the burnt side of Two-Face from Batman, or Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. I can let it slide if burnt flesh is part of his new design, maybe the same goes for keeping his nose intact, but now his teeth are far more stretched out, which in my opinion I say it doesn't work well because they included his nose and stretched out his teeth. He doesn't have a nose in his original design because it's either a result from a battle between him and a test subject or subjects, or his mutation got rid of it along with his lips, and that's why we only see his gums and teeth. But now that they're including his nose and giving him stretched out teeth? I don't know. I still prefer his original design. I was really hoping that they wouldn't change much of his original appearance and simply just remaster everything about him. But I guess they wanted to try something else. And I'm guessing they didn't really think it through before adding these changes. I mean, I'm starting to feel like I'm analyzing it more than the developers did themselves. But his face is not the only difference here. His iconic parasitic tentacles around his neck and collar are replaced with tubes? Experimental equipment? I can't say that's better than his parasitic tentacles. I hope this doesn't mean that they're completely getting rid of them because those were a big part of his attacks. Heck, those tentacles increased his strength. It's part of the reason why he continues getting even stronger and more difficult to beat throughout the story. Hopefully this is just his appearance in the beginning of the game, and just like in the original game, his appearance changes the more times you encounter him. And hopefully he gets rid of those test tubes in exchange for those parasitic tentacles. He also looks like he's not going to be wearing that iconic uniform and instead it might just be like a plastic sheet wrapped around him since it's got caution stamps all over it. But who knows? This is just the beginning for the Resident Evil 3 remake. 
Okay, now let's talk about one more negative side of the game's development. I don't think it's a good idea for Capcom to already start working on the remake for RE3 Nemesis if we just got Resident Evil 2 Remake. I mean, it was at the beginning of this year. Not only that, Project Resistance hasn't even been released yet, and that's been the latest Resident Evil game that's been on its way. And we're already looking at leaks from the front cover of the RE3 Remake? I guess now it makes sense to why Capcom has a different company working on Resident Evil Project Resistance. Surely they want to go back to milking the Resident Evil name since it worked like a charm once the RE2 remake was released. All I'm saying is, how can we expect for either games to be just as good or even better than Resident Evil 2 remake when that game took so many years to finish, and here we have two Resident Evil games that have been developed at the same time? Art takes a lot of time and patience, my friends. And that's what a good Resident Evil title basically is. It's art. One of the finest stories that involves zombies in it. And like the old guy from that Bugs Life Pixar short says, you can't rush art. But of course, companies love to rush out new projects just for some quick cash. And I think this is one of those business tactics where they use the brand name of a franchise that has many devoted fans and suck their wallets dry by releasing as much RE content as possible. All within a short period. Believe me, I'm looking forward to the Resident Evil 3 remake as much as the next RE fan, but companies think for themselves and not for the fanbase. If it was up to them, they'd make every single game be like Fortnite just because it's making so much money. I mean, look at Call of Duty, they couldn't even resist so they scrapped the story mode for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and just ripped off that battle royale concept that's made Fortnite developers filthy rich. Not saying it's a bad game, just telling you that they only did it for the money and not because they had a passion project up their sleeve. So like I said with Resident Evil's Project Resistance, I hope they prove me wrong and both games are just as good or even better than Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'll criticize a game with all honesty because most critics won't have the balls to do so, and I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong if it comes to getting two more fantastic RE titles. So with that said, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, as apparently now it doesn't even matter if you hit the notification button. The like button is the only thing YouTube is permitting us to use as a way to send more traffic to that video. If you're a Patreon supporter, check out the exclusive videos on my Patreon. Go support the channel, which is only a dollar. Sacrifice that McChicken for extra quality content, my friend. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome day.